I just finished doing the Jaws video and I told myself I wasn't going to do any recording, but I'm like, you know what? I'm on a roll. Let's just pump this stuff out. It, this should be even shorter than that video. So, Jersey Jack, you did good. On almost everything, okay? Look. I think initially I was like, I don't care about Elton John. Um, I had probably more negative thoughts about the game on its initial release. I got a chance to play it once at Expo because the lines were horribly long and they only brought three or two, two or three games up there, which was not enough. And the one game I played, I enjoyed. I, and it was enough for me to recognize that this was their best shooter yet. And I stood by that. And as more and more people got a chance to play it, and as time has gone on, I want to say that everyone agrees with that statement. Not that I'm the only one to state that, obviously. I'm just saying that I believe that the majority of people would agree that Elton John Pinball is Jersey Jack's best game yet. Or best shooter, at least, okay? Let's go for that. Because I know that Elton John, as a theme, doesn't speak to everybody. Honestly, doesn't speak to me either. But yet, while I'm playing it, I'm singing along to every damn song. So, obviously, I do like Elton John to an extent. I do enjoy listening to the music while I'm playing the game. It does go well with it. I enjoy the layout. Steve Ritchie put a lot of his previous layouts mixed in. I got a little bit of Getaway. I got a little bit of Star Trek. And I'm sure a number of other games I could list off that I see within the layout. But every shot felt good. Especially what everybody's referring to as the warp ramp shot. You know, I love making that. It's very pleasing to do. Um, when it comes to the aesthetics of the game, it's obviously it's a Jersey Jack game. They're going to be beautiful. And uh, when it comes to the on-screen displays, the animations, uh, once again, top-notch. I just really wish that they would have gone a little bit further on the screen like they did with Guns N' Roses, like Elton John live actually in concerts or whatever, playing along with that instead of just still frame images of him and zooming in and out and stuff like that. That's a little bit meh. But again, I'm looking more down at the play field than I am up what's on the screen. But... <laughs> Honestly, I think the only thing that would keep me from getting an Elton John is the price. Do I think that Elton John, just the the platinum edition, is worth twelve grand? Hell no. This is ridiculous. Twelve grand? Are you kidding me? And then fifteen grand for the CE? No. <laughs> I, I just don't agree with it and it's subjective on what things are worth but I I man if that game was 9k oh man y'all could have be having so much money I, it, it's crazy but you went for the 12k mark and I'm just like no I wouldn't pay that I know there's people out there that would and I think a lot of people that have played the game have appreciated it, but it's down to the price tag that they're asking for. Twelve grand. What? I mean, who knows? Down the road, maybe the prices will come down on them, the secondhand market or something like that, and maybe in the, in the future, it'll be a game that'll be more obtainable. Or, it'll be like Pirates, and the price will only go up. That's more than likely what's going to freaking happen. So, Jersey Jack, continue doing what you're doing when it comes to, like, the flipper strength. You can say you didn't do anything. You did. I can feel it. Anybody else that's played Elton John can feel it. Your flippers are no longer sluggish or whatever. So, if Steve Ritchie had something to do with that, I'm glad he's definitely on board. I'm hoping that in the future you guys can bring out a game that checks all the boxes when it comes to nailing that theme, nailing the layout and how fun it is, and a, for the love of God, make a more attractive price. Because that, ugh, I, I don't I don't know if you will ever get me to buy your game at twelve grand unless the rumors are true. If you have the Matrix license and you do it justice and it shoots great, 
then maybe I'll think about it. But who knows? I'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now, I just want to say uh, I'll compliment you, Jersey Jack, because I think that definitely most of your games, especially the last two or three that you brought out, have just not been winners, in my opinion. And I think you finally have one. You finally have a winner. You just don't have an attractive price tag. 